Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 20th of August. It's a Monday. Very, very quiet open last night. Very, very quiet Asian session. Not too much to sink our teeth into here on this Monday. But let me give you some setups and some scenarios that may be in play here. First, let's look at uh, Euro, what we did on Friday late. Traded up to 114.50. Now we're, we're still in the middle of this range, the top being 115.08, the bottom being 113. So we don't have a great play here. We're going to fade this uh, up towards 115 if it gets up there. And we will break trade it back down below 113 if we get back down there, 112.90 to be specific. Um, there'll be some risk there. But no trade here for now. Um, it's partner in crime, Dollar Swiss. We are still watching 99.85. We're not going to pre trade this because we have no idea what's going to happen with Dollar Swiss. And we're historically not that great at making money with it. But 99.85 looks like uh, a sort of momentum style trade in dollar Swiss. Don't necessarily expect that to happen today, but I guess it could. Uh, our main focus today is basically on uh, Aussie Cat Kiwi. So we kind of did these little, what you call, I don't know, stretch bars back into the range in the Aussie. Kiwi as well. Kiwi looks like it has a little more upside. There's really no resistance until 66.90. But the main feature pair is CAD. Strong CPI. Um, the numbers in Canada look pretty good. Uh, except for this NAFTA bullshit, you would think that CAD would actually be fairly a bit higher. This is going to be a focus for us today. Interesting technical print down at 130, 50, 52 on Friday. This looks like a sell on rally today and an ad through 130, 50. What's going to drive this? Uh, it's hard to say on a quiet Monday, so we're not going to get super crazy. I'm not going to load the boat. Uh, with loonies today but we will be watching pretty closely council governor council member Wilkins speaks today in Canada that could be interesting uh, we got the Aussie guy speaking very late tonight not sure what the catalyst is going to be could be euro through 50 which is going to help could be Aussie and Kiwi sort of reaching towards the sky a little bit. Core short looks to be the way. You know, we're gonna we're gonna sell sort of 72s and 92s today, and, and we'll have a kill uh, above 131.20. And then depending on what the story is and how things are looking, uh, sort of on the sort of macro side. If there is a story, we will be adding through 130.50. CAD's our horse today. Uh, that's what we'll be playing. Let me just bring up the czar. It's back a little bit lower, but this land appropriation thing seems to be gaining momentum. I was reading over the weekend there are more farms for sale in South Africa than there's sort of been ever. And the idea of appropriating land from the big farmers and just giving it to people is looks like it's going to happen. Um, they're calling it uh, the Zimbabwefication of South Africa. I don't want to get into the politics, um, but I do know this is a terrible idea for, for their currency. It won't be taken well by the flock. 
Um, this will also inevitably cause food shortages and all sorts of ridiculous setups and scenarios within the country. Um, this is a buy on dip, uh, just going forward. You know, we're kind of mid range here, so we're not going to go crazy on this, but you see this stuff down at 1430, 1420. Um, this is a buy. For me, uh, and for the guys at Privateer, we do think this is going to break 1775 uh, in the next sort of few months, and probably get up to, get up to 20. So, until further notice, dollars are buy on dip. Dollar Turkey, we feel relatively the same way. Uh, the first big support we have is 540. So at 598, there's not much to do. But just put it in your book, uh, keep it in mind, there's plenty of all in both of these, so they do whip around, you just have to be prepared to act when things get in your zone. Alright, that's it for today, I will uh, catch you guys tomorrow, have a good one.